Hi, I'm Colin Hung, CMO and editor at healthcarescene.com. We're a 12-year-old network of blog sites. We published over 12,000 blog posts. You can come see us at healthcarescene.com. I'm joined today by James Jones, Vice President, Patient Care Services and Nursing Operations at the University of Washington Medicine Valley Medical Center. James, pleasure to have you. Thanks for taking the time. Pleasure. Thank you for having me here. Now, James, I understand you've done some pretty amazing things at Valley, and I'm wondering if you can uh, give us a little preview of what you've done there to reduce hospital-related pressure ulcers, talking about the medication errors and the adverse events that you've been able to decrease. Well, well, let me first by start saying that, you know, I've been able to do a lot of great things, but it's been a, a team effort, a collective effort. It really started about a year and a half ago with our board and our administrative team with understanding how can we improve outcomes. Uh, we really did focus on pressure ulcer, medication errors, skin integrity events, things of that nature. We want to reduce those. But in understanding how to reduce those, we felt like we really had to give an emphasis on our clinicians. I mean, our nurses, our providers, our, all our allied, allied health professionals. Mm -hmm. And really understand how can we help them be successful, which in turn would help our patients be successful. So in investing in them, that's why we went with the Vote Technology. We felt like what they offered to us can really help us improve outcomes. So that, that doesn't seem very obvious to me that you would start reducing medication errors or medi uh, medical adverse events by uh, focusing attention on the providers, the clinicians. Talk to me about that. Well, you know, it's interesting you said that um, being a nurse, uh, I realize if you want patients' care to be successful and you want to get good outcomes uh, and improve the patient experience, you start with the clinicians first. Because without the clinicians, you cannot be successful because they are the entryway for the patients into the organization. And we felt like with the quadruple aim, what we really focused on, we want to understand how can we improve their process. Because you know, in healthcare right now, there's a lot of dissatisfaction uh, and burnout with clinicians in regards to the work that they do every day. Because healthcare is essentially heavy work and we really want to understand how do we lighten their load and make it easy for them to do the right thing. So that's why we really looked at this solution to help us be successful as an organization and streamline communication. We felt like they were be really important and this is something they were asking for. So we really responded to that as an organization and said, okay, how can we help them be successful? And that's why we went with this uh, um, product. We felt like it gave us the best opportunity to, number one, improve our outcomes, lower our costs, and improve the patient experience by first starting with our clinicians. Excellent. So can you give me an example of maybe how better communication led to improved outcomes for the patient? Absolutely. So I'll give you one example. One thing uh, I will be speaking to in my actual presentation is wound care pressure ulcers. Okay. So I give you an example. So with the Volt solution, we were able to improve communication by doing a couple of things. Before we implemented Volt, our process to actually assess and document wound care was a 10-step process. So when we transitioned to Volt, we streamlined our workflow and our assessments from a process improvement perspective. We were able to reduce that workflow by 40%. Wow. Amazing. Uh, Everything is one HIPAA compliant solution to help us be successful. And I can tell you for a fact, our uh, wound care ANRP, she literally said to me just last week that I went from the foot express to the time express. Because now with the smartphone and the vote solution on that platform, she's able to communicate in real time and be anywhere in the hospital. Because communication is key. Uh, and also you think about the Joint Commission, the most significant, most significant things happen because of a breakdown in communication, mm -hmm. which is typically handoff. You know, and, and, uh, clinicians communicate via clinician, between clinicians or between patients and clinicians and families. Right, right. So it's all about communication. It's all about communication. <laughs> now, did you run into any resistance when you were rolling this out? Did anyone sort of, did you have to overcome any hurdles when you started this project? Well, we, we initially did. Uh, I would say the hurdles we recently ran into were with some of our more seasoned, experienced nurses, because I'll be quite honest with you, Colin, we were using, still, some of our nurses were still in using flip phones as their own <laughs> personal devices. Flip and phones. We, yes, and we had a lot of uh, multiple legacy devices in our organization, so there was still disparate communication, and it's change management. They were really uncomfortable with change, and we really helped them with that change. Our IT team, our informatics team, 
and our nursing leadership were, were pivotal. Uh, and I would also give kudos to VOTE because they really came in and really helped us through the process, working uh, very collaboratively with our CIO at the time, Wayne Manuel, and our CNO, Teresa Brungard. Um, and I've been working a lot lately with uh, our CMIO, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, our CMIO to really understand what can we do to improve the process on a daily basis. So it's been, it was a little challenging, but change management and investment with our team has really helped us uh, really be successful with implementation of this uh, platform. Oh, and it's a really unique approach that you took by focusing on them first as opposed to just immediately focusing on process. You yeah. really kind of listened to them and sounded yeah. like and you kind of really incorporated their in input into the ultimate design of the solution. Absolutely, because one thing we really, we really understood, uh, like I mentioned our CMIO, uh, Robert Molina, we really looked at, okay, how can we help our clinicians uh, be successful? They're on the front line, they're doing the work. Our job is to give them the tools and the resources to be successful. So that's what we really first, first focused on and got the feedback from them and understand we did our assessment throughout our organization to say, okay, what platform works well with our culture? Because we felt like what Vote offered us and really sitting down with Vote and understanding their technology uh, in comparison to a lot of other technology out there, it would help us meet the outcomes and the this, uh, with the dissatisfaction and hopefully release some of the uh, job burnout. Job burnout, so. excellent. So, so what's it like being wor working with Volt? Uh, it's actually been great. Uh, I would say I've had a pretty good relationship with them over the last couple of years. Uh, they really sat down with us to really understand what our needs were. I think that was really important to understand what our needs were and what solutions they had for us to help us be successful. So throughout the process, we started early on we're looking at, okay, this is what we need organizationally, and meeting with uh, several of the vote members on an ongoing basis and talking through design and implementation, and them really being engaged with us at the hospital. For example, when we rolled out on 3 North, they were actually there for the rollout in our command center. That was huge. You talk about change management and really getting the buy-in with our staff, having vote our IT team there, informatics, and then uh, our nursing leadership there with the go live, that was pivotal because we were able to make changes in real time that helped our staff be comfortable with the transition. And we continue to, our relationship continues to evolve. We're doing some great things right now. We're looking at doing some more upgrades uh, with improving our care team management and how we communicate with each other, which it goes back to communication again, communication. communicate with each other on an ongoing basis. Uh, we're looking at um, our multidisciplinary team round with our physician and nurses and rehab department and our social workers. That's an opportunity for us. Excellent. Well, James, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. You're, on a, you're doing some great stuff there. Thank you. This has been Colin Hung, CMO and editor of healthcarescene.com. You can read our, uh, our blogs at come to healthcarescene.com and click on the links that you see there.